roared up over the, the valley and formed a huge fireball. And uh, that lobbed onto our place over the tops of the trees as a firestorm. It just exploded on our place and just destroyed the seven buildings. Everything that was on our property was gone. That should never ever happen. And I just hope it never ever happens again. It is sadly a bleak start to the new year with seven people now confirmed to have died and two others unaccounted for in our state's worst ever bushfire crisis. No end in sight to the nation's bushfire emergency. I'm looking up and just seeing the whole the hill in gold. Today is a stark and horrible reminder of the dangerous conditions that our volunteers. They've been killed in a large air tanker crash that in New South Wales. Snowy mountains. That is amazing. Two men that were lost. killed and displaced three billion animals, three times worse than previously thought. Along with it, the habitats of the island's most vulnerable species. WWF calls it one of the worst wildlife disasters in modern history. In this country, from these fires, we have lost millions of our animals. When you think that our fauna and flora in this land is unique to the world, it could probably never be replaced to the extent that it was. That's what I see as an incredible loss. It's a destructive loss. Fire is your friend, not to be feared. The fire is needed. Australia is designed to burn, and it's been burnt for that 100,000 years by the different people in the different areas. Not a huge big area like we've seen, but little patches of land. We need the heat to crack the hard seeds of a lot of our plants to regenerate it. But there's a lot to it, you've got to know before it's burnt, somebody must know all the living things in that area and you've got a slow burn, very slow cool burn. It only burns the debris up off the ground. We say Bagia Nawe Gabun Biraja and in my language that is learn today about yesterday for a better tomorrow. I think we can learn a lot from this experience as bad as it was. No blame, just a recognition and acceptance that what has happened is not the right way. We need to have to try and help Mother Earth heal and use that as a lesson for us to heal ourselves. And I'd like to think that we can have the opportunity to be able to all do it together. <laughs>